Well, I hope you got some of that rainfall that we saw this afternoon and evening at your house. I know I did here at the station. It was raining like crazy from about uh, probably five to six o'clock, but these storms had developed up to our northwest kind of isolated in nature, as you can see, and then they started to converge and move down to the south and slightly southeast. That was all along a stationary boundary that then turned into a cold front as it continued its southward progression, but we got some great, great and I mean great rainfall totals here across central Texas. I mean, we picked up three tenths of an inch, just a little bit over three tenths of an inch here in Waco, a, a little bit over a tenth of an inch over in Temple, seven one hundredths of an inch over in Colleen. And I mean, we'll take anything that we can get despite, you know, the ongoing drought west of I-35, a very extreme drought ongoing here. We haven't seen rain in the last 57 days. Measurable rainfall we haven't seen in about 72 days. So it's been a long, long time since a lot of us have seen some rain, but our winds are now out of the north. That's going to bring in a little bit drier air across central Texas for the next couple days, as well as the temperatures. Check this out. We are in the 70s right now. It's currently 76 in Waco, 75 in Temple. Same with Colleen, same with Gatesville, 77 over in Hearn, 76 in Mejia. And that's anywhere between about 10 to 20 degrees uh, temperature difference from this time yesterday to right now. So we're definitely a lot cooler than we have been uh, for the last several days. We haven't been in the 70s at uh, what 9 o'clock in quite some time. All thanks to that stationary front. There it is now down to our south. Most of that heavier convection and those storms off in eastern Texas at this time. But I'm going to give the all clear to central Texas overnight tonight. Could see a couple isolated uh, showers. Uh, through early tomorrow morning, but for the most part, uh, I think a lot of us are going to remain dry. So if you didn't see rain today, uh, the good news is that you will see near normal temperatures Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. All of us are going to see near normal temperatures heading into the first half of the work week as that high pressure dome is now down in the southwest desert in the southwestern portions of the United States. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to make a return to the central and southern plains by the later half of this work week. And what's that going to do for us? It's going to climb those temperatures back into the 100. So here's what Futurecast is going to look like overnight into early tomorrow morning. I'm going to go mainly clear skies. Again, a couple spotty storms could be in the forecast for us through early tomorrow morning. I think most of that convection is going to be down to our south, closer to where that front is. But we'll wake up to some temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Some lower 80s could be in the picture for us. Here's tomorrow's afternoon highs in the mid to upper 90s across central Texas. Some places, especially west of I-35, can only hang out in the lower 90s. Monday night into Tuesday morning, check out these overnight lows. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees under mainly clear skies. And then we'll only climb back up once again into the 90s heading into our Tuesday. We'll kind of do the, all, the same thing all over again Wednesday before those 100s make a return to the forecast Thursday, Friday and into the weekend. So we are still tracking tropical storm Idalia that is in the northwestern portion of the Caribbean. Winds maximum sustained 60 miles per hour. It's stalled. It's moving north at zero miles per hour. Uh, that's pretty stalled at this moment. Hurricane watches and tropical storm watches ongoing for the western peninsula of Florida as it looks like this thing will strengthen as it moves into the eastern portions of the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to come in contact with this very, very warm water in the Gulf of Mexico, likely strengthen into a Category 2 hurricane and looking like it's going to make landfall heading into late Tuesday night into early Wednesday in the southwestern portions of the Florida Peninsula. Overnight tonight, 77 degrees, mainly clear skies. Tomorrow we'll see highs in the 90s, 98 degrees, a mix of sun and clouds. A very small chance for an isolated storm tomorrow afternoon, but again, I think that's going to be well to our south, mainly in the Brazos Valley. No heat headlines in the forecast for us as temperatures will be below 100 degrees. I'll go 98 here in Waco, 97 in Temple and Colleen, as well as over in Gatesville. Your 10 day forecast looks like this, keeping it relatively near normal Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before we climb those temperatures back into the 100s for the rest of the work, work week into the following weekend. Overnight lows will range in those 70s. Over in Bryan College Station, small chance of rain tomorrow. Temperature of around 101 degrees. Temperatures will remain in the 100s through the weekend with overnight lows primarily in those mid to upper 70s and lower 80s. For now, PJ. Back.